Mike, uh, how you doing? Welcome to Atlanta. I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Um, how much slot have you played uh, uh, since coming to the NFL? Um, you know, over the last few years, uh, I feel like I've gotten a, a good amount of snaps playing slot. Um, prior to getting into the league, though, I, I haven't played any at all. But, um, you know, with the experience that I have now, um, you know, I'm pretty comfortable playing that role. So, um, you know, I've had a, a fairly amount of, of snaps in, at nickel. Mm -hmm. And um, just could you um, go over the injury history? I know you had some issues early on. And uh, uh, how uh, how is that everything with the health moving forward here? Uh, I had an ACL my rookie year, and uh, I dealt with the neck injury um, in 2019. But, um, you know, since then, I, I haven't had any issues um, with either one. Um, you know, while I'm out there playing, I don't really think about it. So uh, I, I've gotten over that hump, um, to, you know, to where I trust my body. And, um, you know, I'm just going out there playing football and having fun, not thinking about it. All right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Mike, Mike Rossi from ESPN. Uh just curious, you mentioned the slot before. Has Atlanta told you how they expect to use you or, or would like to use you? Um, yeah, I, I've been told um, that they like me in the slot. But, um, you know, everywhere I've been, um, playing in the slot and, uh, you know, things happen during those, that, that long 17-week uh, season. So, um, you know, I, I see myself playing outside some too. But, um, you know, wherever – you know, they feel feel is best for me. Um, I'm willing to do it, man. Whatever I need to do to help the team, I'm, that's what I'll do. How, how do you look at your career so far? Because, like, I know you mentioned a little bit of injuries here and there, but your first-round pick, and it seems like, you know, it kind of – you've vacillated in and out of the lineup basically everywhere you've gone. So how do you view where how your career has been over your three stops? Um, like you said, I, I've, um, you know, dealt with some tough injuries. Um and just being able to be back on the field through through those injuries that I've had, I'm I'm just blessed to even you know have the opportunity to still play the game. Um, you know, no matter if I'm out there starting or not starting, it's just a, a blessing to be able to be out there still playing football um, and and just having fun with it, doing what I do. But um, to your question, I, I feel like I'm uh, I can go anywhere and help help any 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 defense. Um, I can help any team get better. Um, I'm willing to do, you know, whatever it takes to win. And, uh, you know, that that's the most important thing is I want to win. Um, you know, no, no matter what happens, uh, that's that's the ultimate goal is, is winning for me. So. Josh Kendall? Hey, Mike, you mentioned, you mentioned that and wanting to, to play for a winner and be at a winner. What gives you the sense through this process that Atlanta, a team that's, you know, 14 and 20, it, is on the cusp of being that kind of team? Right. Um, and, you know, it, it won't happen overnight. Um, uh, we're, we're, we're putting together some some pieces to, uh, you know, get this thing rolling. And, um, you know, I'm just excited to get to work with the guys. Um, and I, I think, uh, you know, over the course of, of, of building up to the season, I think um, what's important um, is that we, we have to find a, a foundation of, you know, to to get things rolling. And um, I think once we, we lay that, down that foundation, then we can start really building on, um, you know, getting this thing turned around. And uh, now I'm looking forward to doing that. When you're evaluating how you'll fit at a certain spot, does it complicate it when they have a new defensive coordinator, especially a guy who's never coordinated a defense, so you don't know exactly kind of what a Ryan Nielsen defense will look like? Or does that matter to you at all? Um. I mean, it, it, it doesn't really matter when, you know, a, a franchise wants you. So um, when they want you, you feel like you can fit in anywhere. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to come to a place where I felt wanted. And uh, Atlanta was definitely the, the right opportunity for me. And um, I definitely feel wanted here. So, you know, whatever they, they want me to do and whatever they feel like they'll get the best out of me, um, uh, that's, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever. So, um, you know, like I said, the ultimate goal is to win. And, uh like I said, I think we're 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 putting together some pieces to to be able to be uh getting that direction. So I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Mike. Nice nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, um uh, Mike, I got two weights. What what's your weight now? I wanted to verify that. Uh I'm one ninety five right now. Okay, one ninety five. Yeah. Uh and, and uh, you know, I know it's old history, but um you know, what what happened in Minnesota? I know Coach Zimmer and uh, 
some of the coaches up there, but I know you moved on, but what, what, uh, you know, uh, people take you in the first round, you think you're going to be there for a while. What happened in there? Yeah. I, I mean, I think a, a lot of it has to do with injuries. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of people, not only Minnesota, but a lot of people thought I wouldn't get back healthy. And um, you know, I don't I, I suffer some pretty serious injuries, so I can't really blame them. Um, you know, in this league you have to be available to to be productive. And um, you know, I understand it's a business. So um I think injuries had a lot to do with it. it it's still all love for, you know, those guys over there. So um no, it, there's all. There's never any bad blood. I get it's a business, so um, no. Like I said, I think injuries had a lot to do with it. All right, thank you. Yeah. Mike, last question. Yeah, this might be a little bit out there, but you have a lot of Falcons gear on for somebody <laughs> who signed five minutes ago. Uh, did they, did they just give you this? Did you you know did you spill something on a shirt and that's uh, like. Like was this planned? What, I can't. What was I can't give you everything, bro. Um, <laughs> you know, may I? I it just it, it fell. It fell into my 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 uh, my chest. So uh, that's really all I can give you. Um, you know, I, <laughs> but it looked that's good. Short right? fall into one's chest. I'm very curious at this. Hey, <laughs> it just happened, man. You know, things happen. You know, we nobody ever thought LeBron would break the record, right? So you know, things things kind of just happen. So. <laughs> and so you're equating the Falcons shirt to LeBron. Got it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate uh, it. Yes, sir. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate you guys. Right. Have Thanks, a good night. Mike and Matt. Appreciate it.